Hey, so this is Eddie and Jim, and we're going to show you how to do uh, imaging with Clonezilla Light Server. So this is a, an ephemeral server that just boots off of a DVD. It doesn't live on a hard drive. There's no Linux file systems or, or uh, servers to maintain. It's an appliance. And what we have here is a method by which we can image multiple PCs. But it all starts with taking a single PC with an image and capturing that image and putting it someplace. And what we're going to do is, is the first part of this demo is go ahead and capture the image off of this PC and store it on a um, TrueNize NFS appliance. Now, you can store it on portable drives, all kinds of any places, but we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that uh, we use this TrueNaz as the demonstration point anyway. And the mount point on that true NAS would be mount image pool. My system's a little different. I'll explain that as we get going. But first, um, simulating this PC in VMware. I'm going to the PC called Laptop 1. And I'm just going to edit the settings here so that when this boots, instead of booting off its own image, and of course, if you're using physical machines, you'll never have to worry about this stuff. But if you're doing VMware testing, uh, I need to make sure that um, boot options, that it's going to go into my EFI screen so I can tell it boot off of the CD-ROM instead of uh, the laptop's own hard drive. Okay, and that CD-ROM is set up to be a Clonezilla Live CD-ROM. So I'm going to power this on. Open the console. And I'm going to click down here to boot off of the, the CD-ROM. Now uh, here's the boot screen for Clonezilla. We want to use two RAM because we're going to be able then to pull the CD out if we want to, and we'll want the large fonts. This takes a moment to go ahead and boot up. And if I'm not making anything clear, go ahead and jump in. So far, it sounds great. It looks great. So. All right. Okay, English is good for me. We always keep the same keyboard layout. Okay, now it, this is pretty straightforward to push an image. We're going to start Clonezilla. And the option we want is work with disks or partitions using images. So we'll take the disk uh, partitions that comprise the disk and put it into an image on a server. So tell OK to that. And uh, there are various different servers you can use, but we've got an NFS server. I'll select that. And uh, this is a, a step along the way where we just tell it THCP. When you boot up a Clonezilla Live CD, it's not on the network. So this actually configures it onto the network. And it'll come right back to where we're at. And um, you can use either for this device. I've got it set up so it's capable for NFS version 4. I'll pick that. Now, on my system, because it's different than what you have, Eddie, I, I ran a show mount command off of a Linux machine in my network against that NFS server, and it gave me the export list. I have um, an NFS registry export and just an OpenShift export. And uh, so it's not called uh, MNT. Um, you know, images, it's just because that's that's what I have in place here. So I will change that to 45. Of course, yours will be different. Oops. Uh, shucks. I got to go back and start over. I got the address wrong. I can always just start over with using that 
capability when you escape out and hit rerun. So I can work with disks and images, NFS server, 4, 45 in my case, and then in my case, MNT OpenShift. Now, if that works, I'll see a mount show up down here at the bottom. And uh, there it is. So it's a uh, server with a path as type NFS4, and there's plenty of room in that uh, drive. And it's mounted as part of it, which right where we want it. Uh, we're going to push the image. So we'll accept the default options. Save the disk as an image. That looks good. And I'm just going to call this a Jim's test image. Now, if you're putting an image up that you're going to be using all year, and, and this is the source drive, uh, parallel compression is very good. It uses the multiple cores on the processor. Um, you might use this file check, but it's not for NFS, so we'll skip that. And I like to check the image to make sure it's readable afterwards. That doesn't take long at all. Uh, do not encrypt. And then uh, I'll come back to a, a, a reboot shutdown offer. And we hit enter. Now this is a, a fairly small image. It takes almost exactly five minutes. I have to tell it I'm sure. They can see I've got three partitions here. And in the video, I'll edit this so it just speeds through this. It won't have any sound. So any comments or questions there so far? No, actually, no. Pretty much covered it, and it's pretty fast. I, I know it's a small image, but it's uh, imaging at the same rate at the location that, as we would here. So. Yeah, because this is a, a unicast, it's just a regular connection here. It's not a, a streaming. It's faster because it's 2.9, one is 1.8 gigabits per minute. Yeah. So I know the speeds are going to go down as we. Well, the systems on there. Well, actually, with more systems, your 1.8 should stay the same. Oh, that'd be great. That's a multicast. It's the same. The packets um, are are sent and heard by all the machines at the same time. Now they can slow each other down a little bit if one of the machines says, "I need to retry block number XXX," but uh, it it really cuts back on the traffic. And so this is actually step-by-step -step instructions on how to save an image. Yeah, and then we'll go through and show how to copy it over to the Clonezilla Lite server, and then how to start the image process. So there's there are three phases for this demo. All right, so the image is saved. And now it's going to do a quick check. Here we go. Then, and I'm just going to power this off at this point. So this completes the image push. 